Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and today we are heading to Pioneer to play a free on moto build of Chandra Tribal. So how many Chandras does it take to compete in Pioneer on a free budget? Let's talk about our deck jump into a Pioneer League and find out. All right, so here is our free Chandra Tribal deck for Pioneer. As you can see, 76 bucks of paper, 12 takes on Magic Online, and shout out to Pi for Man, who originally sent me the list. I actually didn't even realize you could play Chandra Tribal for free in Pioneer. Uh, I made a couple of small changes to the deck, but definitely shout out to Pi for Man for the inspiration and a big chunk of the deck list. Anyway, what is our deck about? The answer is Chandra's. We have essentially every Chandra. The only one we couldn't play for budget reasons is Chandra Awakened Inferno, the six mana uncounterable one, which would be really helpful against control. But still, uh, we get pretty much all the Chandras. And the thing about these Chandras is they all kind of do the same thing. If you think of all these Chandras, they deal damage to stuff, creatures, and often directly to our opponent's face if we need them to. And they generate card advantage, either really drawing cards like Heart of Fire and Flame Caller, or temporarily drawing us cards like Pyromancer and Torch of Defiance and Fire Artisan for one turn. So we have a ridiculous amount of card advantage. And then, the Chandras eventually turn into our finishers, throwing damage at our opponent's face or tokens from Flame Caller. So they kind of just do everything we need. Kill stuff, draw cards, finish the game. So why are we playing a ton of Chandras? What's the reward for this? The big one, Chandra's Regulator, which doubles our loyalty abilities on Chandra's in specific. We can pay one mana and copy it, which gets really absurd with our Chandra's, like doubling our ramp with Torture Defiance or removal with various Planeswalkers. The other one is Chandra Accolade of Flame, which doesn't directly reference other Chandra's, but it's zero ability, puts a loyalty counter on each other red Planeswalker we control. So this is a great way to rush our more powerful, more expensive Chandra's to ultimate, uh, getting there in like one or two turns sometimes, which is really, really strong. The other sort of payoff is Light Up the Night, which again, doesn't directly reference Chandra's, but it's even got Chandra in the art. So it's definitely a Chandra tribal card, which in the early game is kind of an on-curve removal spell. And then later in the game, it's our finisher with flashback. We flash it back for four mana and remove a bunch of loyalty counters from our planeswalkers, our Chandra's, and essentially just kill our opponent with that amount of damage. So pretty easy to get two or three Chandra's on the battlefield and just throw like 10 damage, 12 damage at our opponent's face for four mana to finish the game. Otherwise, we get a ton of removal, little more card draw, one mirror box for fun which is good with our Chandra's, but even better with Chandra's Regulator. If we ever get two or three Regulators going, it's kind of insane. Mana base, some MDFC, some Mountain, Sideboard, War Boss for Control, a bunch of hate cards, some removal, and that is Chandra Tribal, free Chandra Tribal for Pioneer. That's our budget magic for this week. So let's jump into a Pioneer League and see, can a free version of Chandra Tribal win some games, compete in the Pioneer format with crazy cards like Mirror Box and Light Up the Night. Let's find out. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll be back in a bit with a wrap-up. Need some new Kamigawa Neon Dynasty cards? Well, you can get them from our amazing sponsor, Card Kingdom, by heading over to cardkingdom.com slash mtggoldfish and even get a free goldfish sticker. Just let them know you want one in your order notes, and they'll hook you up. Much brew about nothing time. We are trying to win with some Chandras in Pioneer. Some free Chandras for us for our opponent and a Atlanta War Elves. Uh, this hand's, I guess, gonna need some lands. Well, Flame Bless Bolt is fine for now. I mean, we got a pretty solid Chandra curve. Should we hit our land? We actually got the full Chandra curve. If we just draw lands for our next few turns, Chandra, 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 all the way up the curve. Look at the Eider for our opponent. And Prosperous Inkeeper passes. We draw. Well, okay. Maze Mind's Tome is not a land, although it can help us desperately scry for a land. About it adapts. Pathway. Ranger Glass and land or elves, well, we will scry. It's a land, we'll keep it, although, unfortunately, we're a little far behind on board at the moment to really do much. Opponent gets and hits us, down to 19, passes. Well, play a mountain, and I mean, I guess we just pass and draw a card? Yeah, I mean, I guess that's what we gotta do. So I guess we gotta hit like an Anger of the Gods, maybe? We kept a pretty removal light hand, and our opponent's been uh, the Flood the Board with Creature deck. An opponent, level up Ranger Glass. Gonna go to combat, going to attack. Oh, if we could get our Chandra's going, it'd be so good. 
draw a land. Okay, so we are hitting lands. The question is, do we just have to run Chandra's out to their demise? Oh, uh, but passes. Well, Mountain, Acolyte of Flame. Flashback the Flame Blessed Bolt. Kill the Innkeeper and pass the turn. I mean, if we get to six mana, we can cast this flame collar and sweep the board, potentially. This ranger class is going to go off and we can't really, as a mono red deck, we can't really interact with that opponent. Own oh, Elvish Mystic. Fires up the Lair of the Hydra. Yeah, it's also gonna be a bit of an issue. Hits our face, hits the Chandra, counter on something. Lair of the Hydra, well, let's scry. I mean, it's a tap land, which isn't ideal, but it is a land which we need. So we lose our Chandra's. Opponent passes. We draw the tap land. We'll play the Torch of Defiance. Yeah, creature lands have been a pretty annoying issue for this deck. We will tick up, play Chandra's Regulator, play Valakut Awakening, pass the turn. Are we dead? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I think we're dead to a land. I mean, we could Chandra kill the wolf, but that doesn't undo the Lair of the Hydra problem for the long term. One card I'd love to add to this deck would be Alpine Moon, which isn't super expensive in paper, but it is a bit too much on Magic Online for the free build. All right, opponent's gonna level up Ranger class. Going to go to combat. Gonna kill our Chandra, I assume. Gonna grow the wolf. Well, we will scry. Light up the night, gotta go bottom. Opponent kills our Chandra. We draw a land, well, Chandra. We can sweep the board, but there's still a layer of the Hydra and an active, and an active Ranger class. So Dork's down for now. But yeah, the Zlair of the Hydra still snipes our Chandra and presumably any future Planeswalkers, which is awkward. Land for our opponent. Blade Historian. Okay. And Lair of the Hydra. Eh, it looks like to kill the Chandra. Yep. So we can kill the Blade Historian, but then this just keeps happening. Chandra down. We draw. Spikefield Hazard. <clears throat> Play a Chandra. Kill the Blade Historian. Yeah, it's tough. It would be nice if we could use our Chandra's to refill our hand, but we're just so far behind that we have to keep throwing them out there just to kill stuff. And these creature lands just keep killing our hey, Ranger class and Lair of the Hydra, good cards. Just keep killing all of our Planeswalkers forever. Opponent draws a Winota. That's interesting. Oh, uh, but this has counters. One, two, one, two, three. Yeah, so Lair of the Hydra triggers a Winota. So this probably is death. Yeah, and they get to kill the Chandra. And they get to get a counter. Yeah. Ugh. Good news is we are gonna be on the play for game number <laughs> opponent whiff. Not that it really matters because because we got nothing. Opponent passes. We draw Chandra. Mountain. Discard the mountain. We draw. Maze Mind's Tome. Play the Maze Mind's Tome. <laughs> Activate the Maze Mind's Tome. Boom. We draw. Chandra, too late. Well, maybe this deck's just bad. Maybe there's maybe there's a time when we just have to say, maybe this deck's just bad. As sweet as it looks and as much potential as it seems to have, it just has not done a good job of winning games. <laughs> that is that much is for sure. That we've seen. So I don't know, maybe it's just not gonna not gonna work. I mean, I guess that is a, a challenge of trying to build free decks. I guess they're not all gonna be good. Ah, oh, it's funny though, because I really like looking at this deck list now, even after losing and losing and losing with it, I still look at it and think they should be able to win games in in Pioneer. I still feel that way, but in practice, creature lands have been an issue. That's for sure. I mean, I guess maybe like Field of Ruin could be a budget friendly answer. Could be something to keep in mind. Like we can't play Alpine maybe because then it's it bumps the budget out of free on moto this will keep this hand seems fine for killing early game stuff but cannot easily kill a winota land and mana dork and we kill it about it passes mount mountain yeah. land and prosperous innkeeper getting the ramp on opponent passes well six mana chandra could be good eventually Kill the innkeeper, pass the turn. Ah, oh, we just, we can't kill a Winota at the moment. We can kill other stuff, but Winota we can't. 
more boy pathway tribal another innkeeper and passes well i mean we'll keep killing innkeepers unfortunately can't really afford to let anything stick on the battlefield because it lets one know to trigger a better to depths brutal cathar mm -hmm. heart of fire can snipe that oh chandra stamp is very good chandra heart of fire snipe the brutal cathar Pass the turn. Chandra's Triumph is probably our cleanest answer to Winota. And our opponent had to use a treasure, which is good. And we're not that far away from Flame Caller. Things are not looking too bad. An opponent. Azika's Chariot. Okay. Good card. Good card. Regulator would be pretty funny here. Ooh, that is a regulator. All right, regulator. <laughs> this we like. Snipe a cat. Pay the one. Snipe the cat. This is what we're this is what we're envisioning. Is the curse broken? Yes. All right, both cats down. That makes Azika's chariot much less scary. Opponent. I mean, this is went well. Snipe, snipe, snipe. Chandra regulator. This went really well. This is this is the Chandra, the Chandra dream, uh, dream. If we leave up the Chandra's triumph, we can't get janked out by Winota very easily. Two Chandra Heart of Fire shocks each turn. Should be able to keep the board pretty clean. All right, finds the land. Winota. So now we kill the chariot. We kill the chariot. And then. And then snipe the Winota. Opponent passes. Well, uh, Chandra. Shock. Copy it. Shock again. Okay, okay. Play the land, pass the turn. I like where we're at. I like where we're at the Chandras, the free Chandras. Looking good at the moment, for us for our opponent. And Flame Caller can be a sweeper, but wow. Moonrage Brute, passing. So we'd have to pay six life to kill that. I think it's still worth it. Chandra, hit the Brute. Pay three, copy it. Pay three. A lot of life, but uh, yes, we'll pay the three. So brute down. Play the land. Chandra flame caller. Elementals. Oh, and we also have a lot of damage of light up the night in our graveyard. I mean, I think we can just win next turn. Four, 12, light up the night for two, 14, 16. I mean, I think there's a good chance we got the, the Chandra dream kill about it. Out of our deed. And devs, want to need something real good. Light up the night kill, put a place of land. Uh-huh. Our dream's being crushed. What is all this mana going for? I really want to win with light up the night. Oh, next turn will have such a cool finish if we untap. Tovalar's hunt master, sure. But we got a plan for this. 10 loyalty, five loyalty. I mean, we have we have a lethal amount of loyalty. This is where the light up the night in the graveyard is so good. So opponent makes a bunch of dorks. Well, we managed to keep the Winota from triggering. We just, we killed it all, essentially. Stuck some Chandra and shark the regulator and that was enough lost connection to the game do we scare him away is this how chandra's win scaring scaring winota away from playing we'll see we'll see if our opponent comes back if not we're counting this as a win <laughs> i really want to do this turn with the with the light of the night because it's gonna be spectacular it's such a cool win con it's such a cool win con about it all right gets their wolves passes so we uh chandra your face Copy it, and then hit ya, hit ya, and then light up the night, your face. Remove a few loyalty counters. Kill ya, 13 damage, four mana from the graveyard. Oh, there it is. That is the, that is the Chandra. The Chandra tribal kill. Oh, when it works, it's really sweet. <laughs> that much is for sure. Well, this is our best setup. We're running back, I guess. We got all of our removal. Scary part is uh, gonna be on the draw. We do have the fries that can kill Winota. The most frightening part is our best way of killing Winota is Chandra's triumph, and that requires a Chandra on the battlefield, which can mean it can be a bit too slow. Well, I mean, we're keeping. Spike field hazards is good. Anger of the gods is good. We'll see. Opponent land, land or elves. Chandra flame caller is good if we get to it. I mean, it's a lot of a lot a lot of mana, but um, well, kill a land or. The other way to minimize the impact of a note over the short term is keep the board clear. Temple garden undept and voice of resurgence. Well, anger of the gods is a clean answer to that. Mountain, you. Yeah. Well, hopefully this anger is just the the hard sweep, and we're hitting our land, so we're working towards this flame collar. Stomping grounds tapped. 
Llanowar Elves. Opponent. Oh, this is going to be a good anger of the gods. It says, well, hopefully it isn't followed up by a busted four drop. Maze Mind's Tome. Well, we are definitely angering. Sweeping the board. Passing the turn. And we'll see what our opponent's got. No Azekas Chariot, please. No Inota yet. We need another turn or two to get this Chandra's Triumph set up. Stomping Grounds. Tapped. Okay, that's good news. Brutal Cathar, that's fine. Passes. Well, play the land. Maze Mind's Tomb. Pass the turn. So we can kill the Brutal Cathar if we have to, but we don't really care about taking two. Land. A Braid. Well, we will draw a card. Well, that is the land we wanted for this flame caller. I guess the main thing I'm worried about is maybe a Tovalar's Huntmaster coming down. Then it hits us. I mean, I guess even if it does, it's kind of fine. So we play the land. Do we need to kill the Brutal Cathar? Yeah, I mean, I guess we will. All right, kill the Brutal Cathar. So if our opponent... Oh, boy. If we play this Chandra on an empty board, we're in spectacular shape. If our opponent has land Tovalar's Huntmaster, we can kill the big thing and then wipe up the tokens. Azika's Shariat. Well, this is still a little scary just because of Winota. That's the way this could go wrong. Opponent passes. Mountain. I mean, I think we got to hope to fade. Chandra. Flame caller. Kill the cats. I mean, we got to hope this isn't Winota crew attack triggers. Kill Chandra. Mystic's fine. Oh, they do have it. Yeah. Well, here goes our Chandra. Opponent gets the trigger. Opponent finds <sighs> Tovlar's Hunt Master, and that does it. Oh, I thought this was it. Oh, the curse continues. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, I think this is how we had to play it. And now we draw nothing, and we're definitely dead. I think that's how we had to play it. We needed our opponent not to either have her top deck Winota that turn. So we could have passed, not played Chandra. The problem is then the cats live and we have to double. Sh <sighs> then the cats live. We can't kill Azika's chariot with just one Chandra's triumph. So we have to double Chandra's triumph, the Azika's chariot. And then the Winota comes down with the cats and Rexus anyway. So I think that's the only way to play it. And it just don't have it. Budget magic time. We are mulliganing with some free Chandras in in Pioneer. And this hand a uh, little light on things to do early in the game. Uh-oh. Well, all right. So opponents going aggro. Oh, play a land pass the turn. Oh, we have lots of removal. We just do not have it in hand. Opponent. Sacred Foundry. Untapped. Gets an it's us. A growing crusader. And a growing crusader. Well, okay, Chandra's Regulator, go. There's the SRAM. Oh, you know what would be good? Anger of the Gods off the top would make me incredibly happy. Down to 16, about a passes. Maze Mines Tomb. Well, uh, play the Maze Mines Tomb. Play the land. <laughs> so now we're in the hope our opponent never draws enchantments phase of the game. All right, so here comes the snowball. All that glitters grows the dorks. Yup. Makes a dork. Draws a card. Opponent. Draws into ethereal armor. Grows the dorks. Makes a dork. Goes to combat. Attacks for 8 billion. And yeah, now we're pretty far behind. Too far, I think. Yeah, I mean, yeah, we're gonna, we're just, well, you know what? The one thing that could potentially save us is finding Anger of the Gods. I don't even think that actually saves us, unfortunately, because our opponent saves something and this doesn't die. But we'll, we'll loot a couple times to see if we hit it. Down to 11. Like, Chandra's Triumph is great. Oh, yeah, so we're just, like, literally, literally dead. All right, we will, we will scoop it up. Well, now we know the matchup. Our opponent won the die roll, we mulliganed, and we didn't hit any of our nearly infinite removal spells, which is uh, exactly what we want to be finding against our opponent's deck, honestly. We're going to go down an Acolyte of Flames. So we're going to go down a Mirror Box. Run it like that. So max removal. So all we want to do, draw some removal. All right, well, this will keep. We even have an Anger of the Gods. We got removal. We'll see how much protection our opponent has. But we have three removal spells. Once we get lands a couple of Chandras, we got to keep the Thrams off the battlefield. Land go. Red mana. And Kruin Crusader. Lands would be fine here. All right, there's a land. Um, hmm. You know what? I think we just 
kill it. Might as well get her off the battlefield. And SROM. We will also kill that. Play a land pass the turn. This is how we want the matchup to go. We kill your stuff, and then we play Chandra's to take over. That is the that is the plan. Untap land for our opponent. Another SROM. And Cartouche. All right, so opponent gets to draw a card, but Anger the Gods is gonna clean this up and get rid of the SROM again. Well, hitting these lands are fine. Anger the Gods. Pass the turn. Hopefully there's not another SROM. Now we're getting to the point where <laughs> killing SROM is gonna be more difficult if there's a third one. Storm Herald. Okay, spicy. Gets back a cartouche, makes a dork. Hits us for four. Okay. Uh, well, we get to play a land and play Chandra Heart of Fire and kill the Storm Herald. Go, opponents. Elsid. This Chandra seems pretty good at this point. That's just repeatable shocking seems decent. Opponent, all that glitters. Hits the Chandra, okay. Maze Mind's Tomb. I think what we do is Chandra, shoot the Elsid of Life's Bounty. Chandra, flashback, light up the night. Board clear again, pass the turn. This is what we wanna see our free Chandra deck doing is exactly this. Opponent, Sacred Foundry, untapped, scary. I guess another Storm Herald could be fr- <laughs> Okay, another Storm Herald. So opponent gets back to all the glitters, gets in a somewhat big attack. I mean, I assume they gotta kill this Heart of Fire or else it just snipes the Storm Herald. Hits it. Passes. Now what? So we can flashback the light up the night to kill it again. Opponent has one card. Yeah, all right. So I think we flashback light up the night. Actually, let's flashback Anger of the Gods. Keep the light up the night, because we might actually want that to finish the game. Anger of the gods. Get rid of the Storm Herald again. All right, opponent has Karametra's Blessing to pump it. All right, so opponent keeps their dork for now. So I guess we got hit a removal spell. Opponent is fully out of cards, which is nice. Goes to combat, hits us. Now scry, mount into the bottom. Drop to 13. Scry, mount into the bottom. Draw a mountain. Well, Chandra Fire Artisan. Take it up. Another mountain. Go. What do they find? Tap land. Goes to combat. It's Chandra. Well, Pena. Scry. Oh my god. Another mountain to the bottom. So let's take up Chandra. Chandra's Triumph. Chandra Torture Defiance. Take it up. Play the land. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's what we wanted to see from the genres. Uh, let's do that again. Keep drawing the, do we want soul guide lanterns? Maybe we need soul guide lanterns. Now that we see that our opponent's trying to reanimate auras, maybe we bring in the soul guide lanterns. What do we cut? We get on like a regulator, a fire artisan, and a maze mind stone. <clears throat> a maze mind stone. Let's try it like that. I didn't cut the fire artisan. All right, 61 card special it is. Well, okay, sure. Inspiring vantage and selfless savior. We do need to draw more removal. Apply the land, kill the selfless savior. I mean, our opponent's deck still has a ton of snowball potential. That's the concern. We don't have a removal spell for a SROM at the moment. So if they just go SROM uh, or light pause. All right, removal off the top, please. Mountain, that's, that's the worst news. Uh, yeah, all right. We needed that light up the night this turn instead of <laughs> instead of last turn. Oh, it, Sacred Foundry untapped. Well, we've seen this song and dance before. If you untap with light paws, you should win. Saram. Wow, do they not have an aura? The problem is light up the night doesn't actually kill it through Karametra's blessing. I mean, I think we still have to try. We gotta try. We might fail. Actually, we can... Karametra's Blessing saves it either way. So light up the night on Light Paws. Please no Karametra's Blessing. Okay, one threat down, Soul Guide Lantern. Get rid of the Light Paws. So opponent still has a SROM, which is still a big, big, big concern. However, we got rid of the Light Paws, which is good. Well, how bad is it? Opponent goes to combat, attacks. Wow, if our opponent doesn't have an aura, that makes me feel slightly better. Oh geez, another Light Paws. Maze Mind Stone, Scry for removal. Mountain to the bottom. We gotta hit removal. We gotta hit removal. So, Maze Mind's Tome. 
regulator to the bottom. Untap. Oh, that's not good enough. All right, spike field cave. Chandra's regulator. Ooh, pass the turn. Oh God. Okay, so now we need our opponent not to draw auras or else we die. We die brutally. There it is. All right. Well, so opponent auras draws a card, gets a bonus aura. Yeah, that's the problem is it only really takes one aura for the snowball to start. And once the snowball starts, it's so hard to get back in the game. Yeah, gets some big stuff, goes attacking. It's us down to 12. Kind of wish we brought in the fries now. Down to nine. Oh, we killed some payoffs, but not enough. Chandra's regulator, discard the flame caller. Torture Defiance, I mean, that is a good one. I don't know if it's gonna matter here. We will scry, because our opponent can definitely have protection now. Maze Mind Stone, gain us a bit of life. Scries us. Anger the Gods, would have been our hero last turn. We actually kind of want to land now to double the Chandra. Opponent, upkeep stops that. Well, okay, we're gonna go for it. The moment of truth, will our Chandra save us? Chandra Torture Defiance. Take it down on light paws. Copy it. Do they have protection? Come on. Yes. Saram. Chandra power? Oh, they... Okay, so opponent does have Charismetra's Blessing. I feel like they might have just run into that because I don't think they had it before. They would have used it. Well, past the turn. Are we dead? Escape velocity. On um, light pause to grow the light pause. A cartouche. How can we kill this light pause? Goes to combat. Attacks us. We're gonna need this to go super, super well, down to six. I think we need another Chandra Torture Defiance, honestly. So we untap. Is there any way? All right, we draw. We gotta kill the Light Paws somehow. Ooh, Chandra Flame Caller. Oh my goodness, that gives us a shot. Our opponent can still have protection. Okay, check this out. Take up Chandra for mana. Double it. Oh my goodness, this is our chance. I mean, if our opponent has protection, they have protection. We can't actually do much about that. Chandra Flame Caller. Oh, this deck is so sweet. Take it down. X3. Double it. Do they have another Karametra's Blessing? Chandra's? Yes. Double it. Come on. Oh. <laughs> oh, and now we're dead. <laughs> I feel like this deck's actually like a pretty sweet budget deck, but boy. Oh, we have not been able to catch a break. Well, there might have been a punt. It's, uh, I mean, arguably, I guess we should have, we should have exiled the escape velocity with the, the Soul Guide Lantern, which did let our opponent get a cartouche, but I don't know, well, I guess it did end up mattering to some extent. Wow, budget magic time. We are playing some Chandra Tribal, free Chandra Tribal in Pioneer this week. And well, we're gonna need some Chandras at some point. Yeah, let's pass. So it looks like we're up against humans. Being on the, on the draw is not optimal. Opponent, secluded courtyard, untapped of course, and Werewolf pack leader. Well, we will kill the experiment one. Untap. Play a land. Yeah, let's play Maze Mindstone. Tempting to kill the pack leader, although it's better if we can kill it with anger. It says Adeline. Yeah, that's a problem. Scry. Chandra going to the bottom for now. Moonvoke tribal style. Opponent gets and hits us. So we get to anger, but our opponent's still going to have this huge Adeline. Scry. Keep them out in. Land, Anger of the Gods, that fourth toughness, really putting in some work for Adeline, about it. Unclaimed territory. Ali is lieutenant, oh, that's, that's real bad for us, because that means this, uh, oh. <laughs> all right, well, that's a, that's a hand, that is a hand, Adeline gets in for a million, grows the Thalia's lieutenants, yeah. Well, I mean, we can scry. So now we gotta use two Chandra Triumphs, I feel like play draw is a pretty big deal. Yeah, now we have to use double Chandra's Triumph, but that doesn't really do anything because our opponent has these huge Thalia's lieutenants. Wouldn't kill enough. Ugh, and a Thalia, yeah. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's good news. And the good news is we are on the play for game number two and we get to bring in even more removal spells. Like we have an absurd amount of removal in this deck. Absurd. So I feel like well, we'll see. So bring in four more removal spells. Do a little trimming of the slow stuff, mirror boxes and maze mind stones, and we'll see. Hopefully we draw our removal. 
I mean, I feel like so we just want to kill stuff and then play Chandra's to kill more stuff and then use the Chandra's to win the game. Like that's the that's the game plan. I feel like if we have a decent hand, which we sort of kind of do, I mean, we're going to keep this only two lands. I like the anger. We do have some removal. I mean, we'll keep it. Spike field hazard. Go. A boon it undaps. Temple garden untapped. Three bit inspector. Not a land. Well, in that case, we're going to play maze mines down and pass the turn land for our opponent and Thali is lieutenant we really need to hit an untap oh dear okay we really need to hit an untap land this anger of the gods would be pretty helpful hits us we get another scry for it in our upkeep um scry to the bottom we got it we need a land we need untap land all right we hit the mountain so we're not dead anger of the gods sweep the board opponent untaps land adeline well, now we need to hit another land for light up the night. Again, untapped, scry. All right, that's an untapped land, keep it. Play the land, light up the night. Kill it, pass the turn. Opponent, another one, they never end. Okay, and a tap land. Yeah, we'll just draw naturally. Mountain, well, kill it, pass the turn. Opponent's drawn a lot of their best cards. We've had the removal though, secluded courtyard on a human. Sacks the clue. All right, opponent's getting a little desperate. Redain. All right, so we want to land. Gain some life. All right, we'll keep the land. So this lets us Chandra light up the night, kill Redain. Mountain. Chandra. Light up the night, kill Redain. Pass the turn. All right, what do you got about it? Mantis Rider. All right, that's good. Goes to combat attacks. Well, now we're to the point where we'd like to draw one of our big Chandras. Opponent, Temple Garden tapped. We draw. Spike Field Hazard. Well, Chandra. Flashback, light up the night. Kill the Mantis Rider. Come on, big Chandras. We've done all the kill. We've killed so much. Opponent, Shaper Sanctuary. Experiment one. And an Adeline. All right, we draw big Chandra. That's gonna have to be for next turn though. Oh, actually this works. Oh, this is sweet. So we get to play big Chandra. We get to add loyalty with Acolyte of Flame. And that's gonna make our Chandra big enough to shoot down the board and opponent scoops it up. Okay, that's what we want. That's what we want from Chandra's, that's it. Pony, triple Adelie, triple Adelie in the best card in their deck and we kill them all. That is the Chandra power. That is the Chandra power. That's what we wanna see. Now we gotta do it with our opponent on the play though. <laughs> run it back, run it back, we got a removal. Come on, come on Chandra's. Oh, one land. You know what? I'm tempted to keep this. We're on the draw. We have many of our best removal spells. We can kill something on turn one. The problem is if they play a Thalia, we lose. Oh no. I'm telling you, this deck's cursed. The deck is, the deck is cursed. The deck's so sweet. But whenever it comes time to actually win a, win a match, oh boy, Cyber Sanctuary, that's, Kind of exactly what our opponent wants. Whenever it comes time to actually win a match, something goes wrong without fail. Yeah, the Saber Sanctuary is gonna be a, a really, really, really huge. Oh, oh, oh God. All right, well, things are getting worse by the second. We'll play a mountain. Opponent untaps. Land and Adeline. Elite Spellbinder. Yeah, the problem here is we can't actually kill stuff without letting our opponent draw a card. So killing stuff isn't actually very good with the Saper Sanctuary out. Plus we mold to five, which is definitely not helpful. Uh, I don't know what our game plan is. Opponent takes a Chandra, goes to combat, hits us. I think we need to find Anger of the Gods. Well, Maze Mind's Tome, fullest price. Pass the turn. The curse continues. Opponent. Hollywood Mountain Untapped. Adeline, experiment one. And then Adeline, oh, another spellbinder. All right, we're getting to the anger of the gods or bust stage here. We do get some scries. Opponent takes our spike field hazard, grows their dorks. Well, uh, we will scry. Other issue is we do need land and, we need a land and an anger of the gods because of this Thalia. Opponent hits us or multiple turns. Scry. Anger of the gods? No. A very expensive Chandra to the bottom. Well, I guess we can play this as a land still. Spike field cave go. Ugh, so we're gonna have like one scry to find anger? 
I mean, I guess we can kill something. It just feels so bad with the Shaper Sanctuary out. But we probably, I mean, we don't really have a choice. Um, a braid. A, I mean, I think we're still committed. A braid the experiment one. I think we're still committed to hitting the anger. So we're going to kill the experiment one because that could regenerate through an anger. Opponent hits us for eight. Down to five. We scry. Anger of the gods. Mountain to the bottom. Okay, that is anger. Anger of the gods. Sweep your board. Play a mountain past the turn. We found it. We found it. Our scrying god is there. Opponent untabs. Kytheon, uh-huh, and a land. Last card, pack leader, pack leader. Well, let's scry. I think what we need is to flash back this anger. That would be the best. So let's scry, go up to nine. See if we can end an untap land. Fry to the bottom, untap. Okay, play the land. Oh no, oh, it costs five mana, that's right, I forgot. <laughs> uh, so if we play it, it just dies. Well, we will pass the turn. The Shaper Sanctuary is really making our life difficult. Opponent, I mean, we gotta kill it. Opponent gets to draw a card. Yeah, Saber Sanctuary is going off. Unfortunately, why Wizards loves moving enchantment removal into colors that traditionally don't get enchantment removal, red is not one of those colors. I will say, for being a cursed deck and being on the multi five and our opponent having turn one Shaper Sanctuary, we are putting up quite the fight. Red Ain for our opponent, a mountain. Oh, the problem is our opponent just gets to draw a card. Everything we do, they draw a card. We play a land. We tick up Chandra. We pass the turn. Opponent untaps. Oh. Ho, 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 ho. That damage prevention is going to be bad. That means we can't kill the Redane with the anger. That's not good. The opponent thinking about their attacks. Well, we have put up a heck of a fight for being on the mold of five. Really, really, truly. Attacks our face. Hits us to three. We draw something good, please. Anger. Oh, you or a permanent you control. So this means we need to flash back Chandra's triumph. Kill the Redane. Opponent gets to draw a card. And we have to pay one. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Opponent draws some goodies. And this Kytheon can become indestructible. So I'm not sure how we don't lose to this if they just leave mana up. Adeline? Yeah. Tapped in attacking, and that's lethal. Curse. Cursed. Cursed. <laughs> <laughs> this might be the best budget deck that we just never win with. <laughs> budget magic time. We are playing some Chandras in Pioneer, some free Chandras, some uh, free cursed Chandras. So this hand's uh, decent unless we even have our, our spicy fun of mirror box. So the hand's decent unless our opponent's playing control, then it's much less decent opponent. All right, not playing control. So we get to Flame Blessed Bolt, away the Mystic. Hopefully. Boom. Mystic down. Untap. I'll play the land. Maze Mind's Tomb. Well, Maze Mind's Tomb lets us start scrying for lands to get to our Chandras. Castle Garen, Brigo. Opponent's a mono green. Big stuff. This will be interesting. Big stuff can be tricky to kill. Burning Tree Emissary. Into. We probably gotta hit an untap land for anger. Llanowar Elves. If we do, we're probably in decent shape at least. If we don't, then the curse continues. Scry. It's it's gotta go bottom, unfortunately. It's it's tapped. We need untapped. Tap doesn't do it. Scry. Chandra definitely going bottom. We draw a four drop. For Chandra's Oath and Nissa, gonna go digging. I mean, if our opponent has Nykthos, then they can activate it and they have a bunch of mana and they'd probably just win here. Oh, I can't believe we couldn't find the land. Karn the Great Creator, about it. Do they have Nykthos? Looks like no. Wow, would a untapped land be spectacular? About it goes attacking, hits us. We untap, we scry. Regulator to the bottom, we draw. Oh my god, an untapped land. Okay, Anger of the Gods. Woo! Well, our deck made it uh, made it scary, but it did get there in the end, sort of. We still need to keep hitting lands. Old Growth Troll. Opponent passes. We're gonna keep wasting our Maze Mind Stem. Scry, try to find a land. All right, there's a land. We'll keep it. Untap. Play it. Chandra. Kill your old growth troll, pass the turn. This does give our opponent some extra mana, and they still have a ton of mana symbols for Nick those. 
Yeah. Land. So if only has six mana for creatures, we know they got a Karn. Another old growth troll. Well, I kind of want to draw land, honestly. If we draw land, we can double Chandra with a mirror box. All right, well, play the land. So five mana, take up Chandra, six, seven mana, play mirror box, Chandra. Kill the old growth troll. Pass the turd. Okay, mirror box value. Opponent land. We know there's a Karn. What else is there? Two Chandra torture defiance is sweet. Okay, there's the Karn. So can it take down for like a pithing needle? That would be pretty sad. It does take down for a pithing needle, which is pretty sad. Cursed! Cursed! Kiora, gonna untap a land and play the pithing needle. Yeah, that's this is bad news. We don't have a way to get the to get the pithing needle off the battlefield. So this one does all of our work. Our opponent's got card draw going and they can also just make four fours. Yeah, this is, uh, this is bad, this is real bad. The most brutal two for one ever. Probably the first time that two Chandras have been pithing needled by the same, by the same pithing needle. Well, Accolade of Flame. Oh, that was gonna be such a sweet turn. <laughs> Chandra Acolyte of Flame, go to combat. Attack the Karn, I guess. Uh, yep, take that Karn. Pass the turn. About it untaps. Land. Yeah, these old growth trolls. Oh, uh, it appears our opponent just has something big in their hand for their last card. Well, temporary last. Oh, geez. Okay, still going to town. It's got to be like a huge Hydra, I guess. And I don't know how we kill a huge Hydra. That's one of the things about red is red really good at killing small things. Not as great at killing a huge thing. So if our opponent just plays something huge, opponents learning how Castle Garen Big Mana works. So if they just play something huge, we have a hard time dealing with it. 10 mana. All right, opponent did learn how to Castle Garen Brig. And Voracious Hydra, X a million. Well, that does do it. There's not a card in our deck that can actually, actually defeat a 16-17. Planeswalkers for days. We actually really don't have hardly anything for this matchup. Oh, I can't believe our double Chandra with our mirror box got pithy needled. This deck, this deck. Our record's gonna be so bad, but the deck's so sweet and it's done such cool things, but it just does it. Does it partly into the wins. All right, we get to play first. Well, I mean, we're gonna keep this. We can keep the dorks off the battlefield, which is good. We got a Chandra that we could get to, which is not bad. This is the one, Mountain, go. About it adapts. Elvish Mystic. Well, we will kill it. Untap, Mountain, go. Opponent. Untaps, Castle Garen Brig, and passes. Mountain and Mirror Box, go. Opponent, untaps. Please not the troll. Voracious Hydra. Well, that's fine. That still dies to a Chandra, so we can kill that. Also dies to Anger the Gods, but we're probably gonna hold that for now. Apply the land, Chandra. Snipe the Voracious Hydra, pass the turn. Okay, Chandra one down. Chandra's Triumph's a good draw as well. That uh, that gives us a way to kill a Planeswalker. Nykthos, not as scary if our opponent has no, no mana symbols. Karn, the great creator. Are they going for Pithing Needle again? So we probably gotta kill the Karn. Yeah, it gets the Needle. Opponent passes. We draw a Mountain. Take up Chandra for mana. Play Chandra Fire Artisan. Take up Fire Artisan. Oh, that's a bummer. All right, well, kill the Karn. Cursed, cursed Adelia. Uh, well, we exiled our, our best, our biggest Chandra, unfortunately. All right, opponent untaps. We know they can pit the needle one of our Bladeswalkers. Oh, that would have been so helpful. Well, with Mirror Box, we can play any Chandra that we draw. More Karns. Taken down for an artifact. That's a lot of Karns. Gets a Darksteel Citadel, plays it in Blaze of Pithing Needle. Gonna name a Chandra. I assume Torture Defiance. Well, we still get extra card draw. Unfortunately, we lost our, our best Chandra, but opponent, or our best finishing Chandra. Coming down to kill the Karn would have been so good. We draw a mountain. Well, take up, play a Chandra. Now I think we ping the Karn. So if our opponent wants to tutor, they lose it. Play the land, pass the turn. I mean, that's that Chandra Tron. It's three. Is it gonna matter is the question. We're getting close to the point where a light up the night would be pretty good. Uh-oh, Nissa. All right, so opponent's gonna do some mana doubling. Well, we gotta draw an answer to Nissa. Opponent untapping with double mana is, whew, really, uh, really, really bad news. 
All right, turns on the land, goes attacking. Regulator would be sweet now too. Now that we got so many Chandra's set up, Regulator would be really nice. Opponent going to hit Pyro Master. Yeah, another Anger of the Gods. Take up Chandra. Spike Field Hazard. Take up Chandra. Hit an Acolyte of Flame. Acolyte of Flame. Flashback Chandra's Triumph on the Nissa. Spike Field Hazard the Nissa. We survived a Nissa. There's a forest. We can clean it up with the Anger Gods, potentially. Four Chandras. That's four. That's four. Is it going to matter? Not another one. No, no. Oh my God, another Nissa. There goes many of our Chandras. Goes to combat. How do they attack? Chandra. Chandra. Okay, well, shoot the Nissa. Opponent. Takes up Karn. Maze Mindstone. Not great against a Karn. Take up Chandra. Maze Mindstone. Well, take up Chandra. Actually, do we take up Chandra? What is our plan here? We're definitely Anger of the Gods, eh? Yeah, let's Anger the Gods. Get rid of the forest. Ping the Karn. Play a Maze Mindstone. Pass the turn. Ah, oh, so many Karns and Nisses. Opponents drawn almost as many Planeswalkers as we have. Cavalier of Thorns. Well, that's a, that's an issue. It's real big. Also turns on the Nykthos, or improves the Nykthos. Opponent gets another Nykthos. All right. Elvish Mystic. Hmm. Untaps the Forest. Oh, how do we deal with a Cavalier, though? So we need another removal spell. We need a removal spell that we can... Oh, wow, we've eaten through so many of our opponent's lands, but our opponent just playing really big things. This Pithing Needle is certainly hurting us. Opponent gets in with the Forest. Chandra down. Opponent now can make mana with Nykthos. They actually have something good in hand. Oh, no. Too big. Yeah, we can't really kill a 9-8. Now we draw the light up the night. That would have been so good at various times. This is not those times, but Chandra, take it up. Flame Blessed Bolt. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's a way out. So Anger of the Gods kills a couple things. Light up the night, kills the Cavalier, but there's still a 9-8 and there's still a Karn. Yeah, not good enough. Well, we'll pass. I mean, we are, we just, we don't have a way to kill this, unfortunately. So we lose the rest of our functional Chandras. There's still a Nissa, almost. The curse continues. <laughs> the stack. Budget magic time. We are playing some free on Modo Chandra Tribal in Pioneer this week. And opponents on the play. Godless Shrine tapped. Spike Field Hazard Goo. A better than taps. Isolated Chapel. Oh, so they're the Auras deck. All right, well, we have the removal for this Light Pause. We'll see if our opponent just has more payoffs. We don't have the answer for those. Light Pause one down. Normally, I think if you run out the Light Pause in the dark, that means you got a second payoff. Either that or you're just learning. Well, okay. Opponent did not have the second payoff. Play the land. Play Chandra's Regulator. Pass the turn. Opponent to taps. Planes. It's so scary because once they draw the payoff, they just like go off so fast. Oh no, they drew it. All right, opponent drew a SRAM. Okay, well, we actually can just kill this SRAM. We can regulator pitch regulator. So this is actually kind of okay. Opponent does get to draw a card, but we're going to get through a second payoff here with the light up the night. All right. Passes. A land would be good. All right, we hit the land. So play the land. And I actually think we just anger the gods. Get rid of the SRAM. Because the light up the night can potentially kill even bigger things. Opponent untaps. What did they find? No. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Sad Null's eyes. Oh no. It's a Kaya's ghost form. Yeah, so now we can't do anything again. All right, that's unfortunate. We did a good job of killing the first three payoffs, but the fourth one, I guess, is gonna get us. Yeah, I don't even know what we do now, honestly. Like, we can kill this, but our opponent got a Kaya's go ghost form, so it just comes back into play. So I guess we got a regulator, discard regulator. We gotta find, like, another removal spell. That's the planes, that doesn't work. We'll play a Maze Mindstone. Well, that's unfortunate that after we killed the first payoff, they just had two more right on the top of their deck. 
Ethereal armor. Yeah, now it's so big we can never kill it. I mentioned this in some other videos in the past. The the upside, I guess, of light pause is it does just add redundancy to your payoff. So it does increase the odds. In a format like Pioneer, you got SRAM and there's nothing else. So it does increase your odds of, of having this happen. Although we know our opponent didn't have one in hand on turn three. And then they drew SRAM and light pause two turns in a row. So that's unfortunate. Uh, and yeah, now there's just nothing we can we can do. We get to go to our sideboard and we get to bring in some more removal and. And we'll see what happens. Ugh. I thought uh, I thought we we're in good shape that game, but apparently not. <laughs> Unfortunate. Well, all right, a little bit more removal, do some trimming of slow stuff, run it like that. All that really matters is whether or not the Ors deck can stick a payoff. Like their their cards are pretty bad. Unless they have a payoff on the battlefield. If they have a payoff, then then their cards all become insane. So that is the that is how this matchup works, essentially. Spike Field Cave, go. Godless Shrine. Untapped. And Bossies. Selfless Savior. Well, play a land and kill the Selfless Savior. And Soul Guide Lantern. And pass the turn. So Soul Guide Lantern is to, I have another Selfless Savior. I'll play the land. Chandra Acolyte of Flame. Take up, pass the turn. Heatful Eidolon. I'm gonna hit the Chandra. Well, we draw land, so we'll play the land. Chandra Fire Artisan. Tick up, tick up. All right, two Chandras. Fry was one that we wouldn't have minded drawing. Well, pass the turn. Ethereal armor on the hateful Eidolon. Goes to combat. Attacks Chandra. Well, hit you for three. Opponent passes. Well, take up Chandra. Play another Chandra. Take up Chandra for mana. Actually, hmm. The uh, selfless savior is keeping this alive for now. So we got to get rid of the selfless savior. But how? The question is, do we flash back the light up tonight or do we just cast it from hand? I think we're just going to cast from hand. So play the land, kill the selfless savior. Opponent sacks for protection. Add some loyalty counters. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Take up Chandra for damage. Almost passed the turn without doing that. Another removal spell down, unfortunately, past the turn. OK, opponent untaps. It's land number two. Cartouche. Uh-huh. Grows the dork. Opponent goes to combat. The life gain on this is actually relevant with these two light of the knights in the graveyard. Opponent. Wow. All right. Hitting the fire artisan. So fire artisan down. Five to the face. But doesn't this mean we get to ultimate torture defiance? I think it does. So we get to, I guess the question is, is ultimate enough or should we be doing something else? I mean, it's obviously good, but is it good enough? Loyalty emblem. How can we close this game out? So light up the night hits for seven plus five. Not quite enough. I want to kill this, but I'm actually super. We got to go for it. Oh, I'm worried about Karametra's blessing, but. Go after the Hateful Eidolon. Five and one. Do they have it? I mean, if we kill this Hateful Eidolon, we're in wonderful shape with the Chandra Emblem on the battlefield. Chandra Acolyte of Flame doing some work there, taking up the, the loyalty. That was a fast, fast, fast Torch of Defiance ultimate. I mean, if they got it, they definitely are. They got a cast. I don't even know what there is to think about here. OK, so opponent does have it. Yep. Opponent untaps. Well, we had to try. Elsid of Life's Bounty goes to combat. Attacks are Chandra for lethal. Uh, of course, not great. Goes up to 22. Well, we're going to sack this to draw a card. Hoping for cheap stuff that we can cast. Pyromaster. All right, well, Spikefield Hazard is, oh boy. I want to win the game, but I feel like we need to kill this stuff to be able to win the game. All right, so go after the Elsa to Life's Bounty. Hit the Hateful Idol on. Okay, but the emblem is colorless. So this is okay. We get rid of the Elsid, Chandra Pyromancer, Pyro Master, Emblem, Colorless. Okay. And we got a Chandra Emblem. That's real, real good. Okay, gets to draw some cards, which obviously isn't great, but what can you do? And then Pyromaster. 
snipes down the last token. Now the goal is kill our opponent as quickly as possible. We got through the big life linker, which was an issue. Now we want to kill our opponent. Opponent. All right, kills the Chandra, sure. Well, there's many more where that came from, including the biggest baddest Chandra. This is a fast clock. Hit your face, Chandra Flame Caller, make some elementals, hit ya. Down to 10. Lethal next turn. Light pause, good card. I mean, we have lethal direct damage though, I think. Guys, ghost form, sure, sure, sure. But I think we can just win with this light up the night. I don't think we need anything special. Asses, this also works. Light up the night, you. Hit you for five and then light up the night you x zero twice <laughs> oh we have to remove i guess we have to remove a loyalty counter all right hit ya down to zero and that's what the chandras could do that was really really impressive chandra i mean this <laughs> this matchup's absolutely frightening but that was a good example of when the chandras get going the synergies are actually really really powerful like accolade of flame getting us to the fast ultimate of chandra torture defiance all for free on magic online i just wish he had one more often the deck's still fun though well this looks like a keep a lot of removal spells which is kind of exactly what we want opponent land self a savior that's not optimal well valid awakening go yeah this could be an issue so the self savior means that we can't kill the payoff that our opponent plays this turn, and they might be able to just grow it outside of our range. Ooh, Hateful Eidolon. Okay, that's that's better than the other options. Cartouche. All right, all right. Opponent gets in, hits us. Sure. Play the land and pass the turn. This is a big turn. This is a real big turn. If they can grow this Hateful Eidolon huge, tap land. Sentinel's eyes. Yeah, the problem's continuing. The opponent goes to combat. Well, we will get rid of the selfless savior. We still can't kill the hateful Eidolon though. The opponent passes down to 16. Well, mountain, Chandra Acolyte of Flame. Loyalty, go. We need this anger of the gods <laughs> to be able to get rid of this hateful light a lot without our opponent drawing a bunch of cards. Please be strong and not light pause. With this anger of the gods in hand, we're so close. Okay, kills the Chandra. Goes attacking, goes attacking. Down to 11. Passes. Well, play the mountain. Actually, should we play the regulator? Yeah, I think we just gotta pass. Opponent, land. Two cards in hand. Cartouche on the token is fine. What we're trying to set up is Anger the Gods plus a removal spell to sweep the board. The problem is if our opponent's last card is Karametra's Blessing, that's really, really bad. Like potentially just deadly bad. So opponent hits us for five, down to six. Opponent passes. Anger of the Gods. Gotta hope that last card is a land and not the Karametra's Blessing. I mean, that's really the game. A braid? Is it it? It is. Oh boy. All right, all right, all right, all right. Well, that is what we were afraid of. Untaps, draws, light paws. It's us. So close. Soul Guide Lantern doesn't do anything. Yeah, I think that means we're dead, right? Chandra's Triumph can't kill this. So we can like really painfully redraw, but I don't think we have enough mana. Like even if we redraw into something, and if we just kill the Hateful Eidolon, our opponent gets to draw enough cards to go off with Light Paws. I mean, we, we have, actually, no, we don't have a hope. So if we kill this, then our opponent gets to recast Sentinel's Eyes from their graveyard and it's lethal on Light Paws, so. No, this doesn't work either. I was gonna say we could pass and then Chandra. <laughs> the curse continues. Wow. So I know the life totals look very different there, but if that hateful Eidolon dies, even if our opponent's at 30 and we're at three, we are incredibly likely to win the game. Like very, very close to 100% to win the game, but huh, they had it. <laughs> this poor deck. So close every time. So what did we learn this week about Chandra Tribal and Pioneer? And obviously, Record-wise, wasn't great. In fact, we didn't actually win a match with the deck, which isn't really what you're hoping to do when you sit down to play a League of Pioneer. At the same time, I still feel like the deck is way better than it looked. We ran a little bad, maybe we played a little bad at times, maybe we hit hard matchups, but if you look at our matches, 
every single one was like so incredibly close where it's down to the last turn of the third game. And does our opponent have a protection spell or can we fade this one draw? And then somehow it just never really worked out that those things went in our favor, uh, but it will eventually. So I think the deck is definitely better than its record suggests. Not to say the deck is broken or insane or anything like that. I mean, it's a, it's a free budget deck. So I'm not at all saying this is a top tier deck and we ran poorly or something, but I do think it's better than like a zero win deck because every time I sat down to play with the deck, I was pretty confident that we were going to have a chance to win. And that really played out. We didn't win, but we often did have a chance to win. It wasn't like we were just getting ridiculously run over and not competitive at all or not functional. The deck kind of functioned well, other than maybe having some trouble hitting land drops. Uh, it just kind of didn't really turn out in our favor, which is kind of disappointing. Uh, but anyway, as far as the deck itself, a couple of suggestions for it that I don't think are going to increase the budget. Uh, obviously, like Chandra Awaken Inferno would be great against control, but that's going to jump the budget up a ton. So as far as improvements that don't really jump the budget up a ton, two ideas. One is more Valakid Awakenings. One thing I noticed was we did have a lot of land trouble, and I think it was partly just a little bit of clunky running, but we had some games where we have 24 lands in the deck where we're just like desperate to hit our last land, uh, to hit land number four, to hit land number five, and we really had a hard time doing it. We had to like waste our maze mines, tomes, desperation scrying just to try to hit our land drops. So even though it feels like 24 lands should be enough for this deck, um, with how it played in practice, and again, this might be a little bit bit of just like variance and bad running but in practice i kind of just wanted more because the most punishing thing with this deck is having three lands and like two four mana chandras in hand and then missing that land drop and not being able to play it so i think maybe the easiest way on a budget to improve this is more valakid awakenings or even just more mountains if you want to be really budget on a non-budget form shatter skull smashings would be great that can be part of our removal package and another land to make sure we hit our land drops and it comes into play untapped so that would be one thing i'm looking we're trying to get up to like 25, 26 lands. Just based on my experience with the deck, again, 24 seems like it should be enough, but in practice, it didn't play like it was enough for the deck. The other thing I noticed is creature lands was a big problem. And one of the cards I really wanted in this deck was Alpine Moon, really good against Lotus Field, and it can shut down creature lands. Little expensive on Magic Online for the budget, uh, but we could play something like Field of Ruin maybe as an answer in our mana base, because one thing that can happen with creature lands is we have all this removal. We have all these Chandras that can shoot down creatures. So we do all this work and expend all these resources to like deal with our opponent's board. And then they have a Hall of the Storm Giants or a Lair of the Hydra left over. And they can just use it to snipe down our Chandras again and again and again and kind of like oddly lock us out of playing Planeswalker. So the Chandras felt weak to creature lands, more answers to creature lands rather than just removal would be nice. The third thing, and this is more of a non-budget thing, would be going into another color. Like maybe we're Rakdos, Chandra's, maybe we're is it Chandra's? Because the final thing we kind of struggled with was just like big creatures. Chandra's Triumph is great. Uh, and our removal is actually really, really good for early game threats, for mid-range threats. But sometimes your opponent plays a, you know, a 18, 19 voracious Hydra or something, or a huge uh, Cavalier of Thorns. And our removal just wasn't quite big enough in some of those matchups. But that's just a red thing. Red isn't good at killing big things. So the way to fix that would be like splashing lightly into another color for some hard removal maybe or some counter spells or something so there's definitely a lot of options here so as it is Chandra Tribal would I recommend this is a deck that you are going to pick up and like grind into a moto collection I'm gonna go with no we've had a couple of really good budget decks recently that I think are good for that that are still free on Magic Online this is one that I think is a little more speculative it's fun but record wise it just wasn't very good but I still feel like it's so so close that with uh, a bit more luck, a bit more tuning, whatever. I think it could get there and be really, really sweet. Plus, I mean, it just does really, really cool things. We got to see some awesome kills with the light up the knights with Chandra Acolyte rushing into ultimate. So even though the wins didn't come as much as we want, the deck was still like a blast to play, even though it might be a little bit cursed and even in the losing effort. So anyway, that's Chandra Tribal. That's been our budget magic for this week. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed all the losses, everyone, and all the cool stuff we did in a losing effort. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon.